Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. As you can tell from the title, it's our puppy vlog. We're getting our new puppy today after a weeks long of delays from flight cancellations because of Hurricane Milton. Our flight nanny decided he wanted to wait until those were clear so that he wasn't stuck with the puppy. If you guys are new here, we ended up getting a new puppy and she's coming from Texas from our breeder, which Aiko and Hiro are from as well. They're actually related. Sorry, I'm out of breath because we're running a little late. We have to leave in 30 minutes. Just got out of the shower, which is why my hair is wet. Anyways, the new puppy's coming from Texas, but the flight nanny is from, from Florida. He is a flight attendant, which is how flight nannies could charge less because obviously you're paying for their services but their flight as well and I think that's how it works I think a lot of flight nannies for dogs are flight attendants because obviously they can get either great rates on flights or they can get on a plane for free with their airlines possibly so anyways we paid $600 from for the flight nanny from Florida to get to Houston and then Houston to San Diego for 600 I think that's actually a pretty good deal I looked into it myself of getting my own flight from San Diego to Houston just to pick up the puppy if I wanted to because the drive is 20 hours away and that's way too long. Anyways, that was going to end up being about $1,000, so much more affordable with a flight nanny. But we have the house pretty much puppy-proof. We took out all of our area rugs, all of our runners, just to make sure that she knows to go pee in certain areas where the pee pads are or outside. But let me show you around the house real quick so you can kind of get a visual of what's going on, and then we're going to head to get our puppy. All right, so here's how our room is looking. This is obviously going to be kind of where I'm going to let her play, but only after she pees and poos. But before that, we'll probably just roll this up because we're very anal about not getting accidents on our rugs especially our Persian rugs this is like a really expensive rug and so definitely don't want any accidents on here so we're gonna do our our best to roll it up when it's not in use we have her crate here this is from I believe it's fable a uh, brand called fable and I really love this crate because it has a really nice gate and so I feel like they feel like they're less in a jail <laughs> But uh, they like going in here. They do get kind of scared when I do close this, so I just sort of leave it open. And I'm planning to only keep her in here if I have to be away for like longer than four hours or so. We have that chair from Marketplace, just a quick update. Pee pad over there. That's where we're gonna train her to go pee. A random, but uh, we have our linen pillow cases right here. Once the sun is out, I'm gonna put them outside so they can uh, dry just because from what i've read air drying linen sheets is better than putting them in a dryer we have two sets of this color this is the oat color from i believe bed threads anyways i'm getting off tangent here <laughs> i was wanting to show you how we puppy proof this place this rug actually used to be in our game room don't mind that my friend is buying that off of us but it used to be in our game room and i never felt like it really worked but i also didn't have a place for it to go and i didn't want to like sell it and i actually think without it there it makes the game room look better granted we still have to get artwork that's all not finished yet maybe a more simple rug will look better here and then i thought wait it might actually look good here. And I remember trying it here before and I was not really feeling it because I felt like it should be bigger. But now that we have a chair here, I feel like it kind of works. So this rug might stay here. Let's show you the rest of the house. Took off our runner here. Took away some of our bath mats in our guest room where Donnie's sleeping. He's on call today, but uh, he's gonna come with me to get the puppy. Look at the two dogs over there. So we took away the rug here. We took away another rug there. Took away the runner here. Office, I didn't have a rug, just a bed randomly. <laughs> and then we took out our runners in our kitchen as well. Then finally, our last rug, we just sort of, why am I whispering? Okay, our last rug, we just rolled it up because this rug is massive. Made a little uh, bridge for them because Hero loves to go here when there's sun, which this is a banana that she didn't eat this morning. The heck. <laughs> so yeah, that's sort of how we puppy proof our house until she knows where to pee. Oh, also I wanted to show you guys something I got on Amazon, which is amazing by the way. Check out this top for your washer and dryer unit. They really just made this room look a little bit more put together versus just like seeing the tops of the washer and dryer. So this works if you have a front loading washer dryer. I'll leave a link down below, but we love it. I'm probably gonna put like a little herb garden right here eventually because I think that'll look nicer when you're looking at this from the kitchen. I always felt weird that they put the washer dryer here right next to the kitchen, which I felt like should have been like, like a prep area or the pantry 
pantry or like the butler's kitchen because you do have a sink here so this could have been more counter space to prep for parties or whatnot if i were to have built this on my own i would have actually made this a pantry or another prep area essentially an extension to the kitchen and then i would have put that as a stackable washer dryer where our pantry is so i would have put the washer dryer in here you know, imagine if you just stack them here and then you have a little uh, place here to fold your clothes and then more storage here. That would have made more sense to me, honestly. Anyways, I'm going to finish getting ready. Probably won't even do my hair, just wear a hat. And then um, I'll see you guys at the airport. Do you know what's coming? She's like, you guys are up to something. I'm not sure what, but you're up to something. Oh my God, I'm almost United. here. United. Okay, Dawn's meeting him over there. There she is in a little bag. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Blue's here, guys. She's so, She's so small. Oh my god, sorry, I'm parking. Can I get her out? Hi, Blue. Hi, Blue. Hi, baby. Hi, Blue. She's so small. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Leave her Okay, I'll leave her there for now. Yeah. She's petrified. Let's get her home. Hi, baby. Blue. Oh my god, you're so cute. Hi. Hi, sweetheart. Don't be mean, hero girl. You better be nice. You better be nice, baby. Oh my god. She's so small. We're we'll gonna take her to pee real quick. Okay. We're gonna take her to pee. Wow. Hi, girl. Come on. Hello, <laughs> VP. Better be good, girl. Be nice. Be nice. I know. It's a brave new world out here. Wow, who's that? I go smaller, Bubba. There you go. Oh, she's just trying to get him. Go 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 get Ended up getting carne asada fries for dinner. We were gonna cook, but it's kind of beat, so just gonna have this. It's not from our favorite one, but it'll do the trick. A little muncher. Muncher one over there. Muncher two. And the little Miss Princess. Look how crazy she goes if I try to take it away. <laughs> Blue. Oh my god, girl. You need to slow your roll. She's crazy. Should I give her a little more? No. That was a lot. <laughs> what is that? Are you guys becoming besties? Hmm? Oh, she goes, wait, what about me? What about me? I just want to squeeze her tummy. She's so cute. Baby, look at her tummy and she looks pregnant. Don't you dare. Oh my gosh. Fucking Eiko part two. No. No. Shh, shh. Leave it. Oh my god. Can you get it? <laughs> get no. it. No. Excuse you. I go. That's your your soulmate right there. She's sad. She's weird. Because she's jealous. Mm -hmm. That's why we have to give her the same amount of attention. Same amount of attention. I go. Hey, sweetheart. Hero over there is. Hi, hero. Energy for days. It's currently Sunday.
All right. Hi, everybody. <laughs> it is Monday. We survived the weekend with a new puppy who arrived Saturday, and here she is, Miss Blue. I feel like I've been uh, vlogging on my phone this whole weekend just because it was easier just to grab and go. But I did want to turn on my main camera so I can have a little chit chat moment with you guys and talk about how the weekend went and how it's been going with little Miss Blue here. So we ended up calling her Blue, B-L-E-U, because her coat color is fawn blue. It just felt right. It just had a really nice ring to it. We contemplated calling her Bear because she looks like a little mini bear, but ultimately so far Blue is sticking and her name from the breeder was actually Rue, R-U-E. And so the transition, she kind of already knows her name when we say blue she kind of looks already so it kind of worked out in that sense but look at her coat it's so pretty it's like this really cool gray tone bluish like not really blue but like a cool tone and obviously the fawn is a brown tone that's why her coat is fawn blue because it is brown but it has this like coolish gray tone to it hmm and just one thing to note about coats though is that blue coats typically aren't I guess the best in terms of breed standards and so certain breeds that are blue tend to have more issues especially with their skin so like skin irritations allergies stuff like that so just keep that in mind but when it comes to chihuahua I didn't really see any alarming information especially since I really trust our breeder so just wanted to point that out I'm also currently in our game room right now let me show you the office my little makeshift crazy office right now I'm just working out of my coffee table here, all of my gear and crap is there. Got my iPad over here. And so, yeah, I just spent pretty much all morning getting a lot of admin work done. I've been trying to crate train her and I haven't closed it yet because when you're crate training your puppy, the best advice is to make it like Disneyland in there. That's where they get their treats, that's where they get their best toys. The last thing I feel like you wanna do is close it right away because then they feel trapped. You wanna make it feel like their den, their safe haven. Make them feel like it's a place where they can go to feel safe. That way, when you close the door, they don't freak out. So. We haven't tried closing the door yet. The only issue though with crate training her with these two dogs is like, I wanna say the word crate. I threw a treat in there, but they all start running in. <laughs> Hero is was in there sleeping today. And also too, you know, we have some obligations we have to attend this week. I'm really nervous about leaving her. Usually when I've gotten puppies, I'm kind of with them for a while and I kind of cancel any plans, but this is a big birthday party. It's a surprise birthday party for Donnie's sister and there's gonna be like 16 of us at one of our favorite restaurants called Anime. If one of us has to stay behind, obviously I will, but hopefully she'll be good in her crate by then. And that is in three days, so wish us luck. Hero is here, by the way. Hero, come here. Hey, Colonel, here's our pack. This is our pack. Come here. Come here, I go. This is our current pack right here, minus uh, Donnie. <laughs> In terms of her size, she is so tiny. She is smaller than we thought. Blue is projected to be three and a half pounds, so even smaller. And this is how big she is now, and she's already three months old. She is tiny. I'm only three months, guys. Look how cute she is. She, does she look like a bear, too? <laughs> But she's so sweet. She loves like cuddling on our neck. But yeah, she's tiny and I actually can't wait for her to get bigger. She feels so fragile. And then the last update I want to give you guys is her pee and poo. And so we actually have a whiteboard for my content and we ended up using it to, to jot down the times for when she goes pee and poo just to give us some information and data. And I posted this on Instagram and there was a couple of people are like, whoa, it's a little, uh, over the top, don't you think? Like, they didn't say it that way, but they were being passive aggressive about it. We do it for the data, that way we know and can expect when we think she might go pee to help curb the accidents because there's obviously gonna be accidents. She already had two accidents, but the more data we have, the more we know her schedule, then the better we can set her up for success. Dogs are creatures of habit. So if you let them do these bad habits, if you let them keep peeing and pooing in places they're not, they're gonna learn that behavior. So. You just want to make sure to get it right in the beginning. Aside from that, me and Donnie are also, you know, co-parenting here. And instead of him asking me, oh, when's the last time she peed? He can just look at the board. Yeah, that's how it's been going. <laughs> in terms of my sleep, oh Lord, my sleep has not been great. In the last two days over the weekend, I've had a total of seven hours of sleep. 
The first day only had two hours. Feeling pretty okay now, but you know, could be worse. So yeah, that's how it's been going. And um, I'm just gonna spend the rest of the day hunkered down right in this little makeshift desk dwelling puppy playpen area. <laughs> oh, I forgot to add, this girl can eat. You have to pry her away from her bowl because she's eating so fast. All right, let's get this workday done and over with. All right, it is dinner time, late dinner tonight, but I talked about this kitchen robot from a brand called Suvi in my last vlog. Full disclaimer though, I was sent this to do content UGC, not actual vlog, YouTube, or social media, but I actually really do enjoy it and I've been really loving it. And look at this prime rib that we just cooked in there and it was sous vide in water and you just leave it in the packaging and then take it out. There is the, I think it's called the au jus or like the juices from it that I'm gonna warm up because I kind of let it sit too long. So the meat's a little bit cold. Hopefully that will warm it up a little. And then the green beans and mashed potatoes just finished. The green beans are down there and then the mash here i'll mash that up and show you guys the final plate all right warm this up just gonna pour this on here get it a little warm Ooh, this actually looks really really good i think all i did really was throw things in there for the mashed potatoes i just added butter salt pepper and then the last thing is just this truffle seasoning right here it's supposed to be like a truffle mash so add a little bit of that i'm not like a huge truffle fan so i'm just gonna put a little first but uh not bad for a little uh quick meal okay i wanted to try a couple bites with you on camera but here is the prime rib pretty good looking prime rib if you ask me mmm very tender delicious all right, let's try the mashed potatoes now. Mmm, very good guys. I would rate this meal a nine out of 10. It's actually pretty fucking good. Again, full disclaimer, I could get this for work, but I wouldn't be telling you guys if I didn't like it. Mmm, I would say this is definitely worth it if you don't like to cook, but want really nice meals at home, definitely check this out. But if you like to cook, you can do this on your own. All right, we're gonna get a taste test from Donnie. See how he likes it. Do I dip it in here or not? Not really. You can do whatever you want, boo. Mmm, it's very tender. Try the potatoes. The girls are over here. Oh, that's good. Out of 10. <laughs> Give it an eight. Uh, I think I yes. said nine. Did I say nine? I might've said nine out of 10. That's good. Well, also it's been sitting here for like 10 minutes, so. Yeah. Get her hero. Go get her hero. Go get her. Go get her hero. Yay! Only took five days, but they're playing. Good morning. It is now Wednesday and officially day five of puppy training, which has been pretty good, I will say, but we had a crazy sort of day yesterday. Donnie got off work early, so we tried to do a little cute outing with the dogs and it started off cute, but ended up a little bit disastrous, but I'll get into that story time a little bit later. Right now, I want to, she's been doing well in her crate or at least going in and out of her crate. I haven't left her in there yet for longer than like five minutes. My thing is I just don't want her to hate the crate so I want to take this slow. I started to get the puppy blues yesterday just like the stress and trying to get my work done and trying to feel productive but also trying to set her up for success and I'm like how do people who have full-time jobs in office or like not at home handle a puppy? It's so insane to me. I just can't imagine having to go to work for all day and like worrying about her being in the crate like that's insane to me. So I feel you guys, if you do have puppies and you have like a nine to five and you have to go in like, whew. I remember when we got Monster, my Boston Terrier, I did have a nine to five and went in every day, but that job was also still very relaxed and I lived close to there. They were cool with me going back every like three hours to check on her, make her go potty, all that stuff. But I mean, man, I can't imagine having to do this with a nine to five where you can't just leave and go check on them because it's a lot of work. So I'm very fortunate to be able to work from home. Anyways, getting off tangent, let's Let's do a little like, I want to show you guys what I've been doing to get her accustomed to her crate and then we're going to do a little quick workout and just see how this goes. So wish us luck. Okay, the thing about this too, it's hard because you're trying to train one and all of them, all three of them are here and sometimes all three of them try to go into the 
the crate. So what I do is uh, I'll say the, the word crate and then kind of throw the treats in the back of the crate because you want her to feel like the reward is, you know, as far back in the crate as possible versus being in front so that she gets used to being like deep in the crate. So crate, crate, good girl. Then I'll throw it back here. Ooh, crate, crate, good girl. And then there's a hole back here and I'll throw it back there. Not me putting on ring camera so that I can uh, check up on her. Yeah, I'm a crazy dog dad. But look at Aiko, she's like terrorizing her. going crazy but she finally calmed down because I put some gates so that Aiko couldn't go in front of the cage because I think she was like taunting her so now she's actually just chilling taking a quick break from work because I wanted to get into that story time I mentioned earlier about what happened yesterday so Don got off work early yesterday so we decided let's be cute let's take the girls out it would be Blue's first time out in the world with us and we ended up going to lunch um, at a local restaurant and then wanted to jump into the pet store to grab a few things, teething toys, stuff like that. So we went to grab lunch. It was great. It was amazing. All the workers were in love with her and the girls. They were like, oh my god, she's so cute. And just asking a bunch of questions. A couple of them asked to carry her. And, you know, we kind of got scared because she's so small. And we're worried, like, of someone dropping her, to be honest. But at the same time, I feel like it's good for her to be exposed to different people. And so she's not barky or scared. And so, you know, we let them hold her. And But yeah, lunch was good. The girls had a good time. They basically just stayed in their stroller or a lap the whole time. And so that was great. And then we went to the pet store and that's kind of where things sort of went downhill. <laughs> Which is more our fault because, you know, she had a big day and we probably should have just took her home right away. We were in the store, it was cute. The workers were like, oh my god, asking a bunch of questions too. And as we were going, Donnie's like, oh my god, oh my god. She freaking pooed in there. Granted, I think it was like a nervous poop because it was not a lot, but it was still like more on the wet side. Hero stepped on it. Luckily, Aiko didn't, but Hero definitely stepped on it. And so he was like, go check out, go check out. So I ran over, I grabbed some extra wipes as well, checked out, rolled them out quickly. <laughs> to the back of our car and just clean them off as best we could, clean the stroller off as best we could. Good thing is there were blankets in there and we actually just ended up throwing the blankets away because they were old blankets anyway. So we threw them away, got home, threw them in the tub, gave them a shower. And so yeah, it was a, a little bit of a disaster. Well, the first part was a success. She had a great time, but the second part, who child, it was like, I feel like you get one of those mommy daddy moments where like if your kid shits and <laughs> the diaper and it leaks, like you just go into panic mode and you're just like cleaning it up. You don't even smell it. I swear to God, like I didn't even smell anything because I was just like, we gotta go. We gotta get this clean, get them home, get them showered, get ourselves showered. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> Got your underwear, dude. Oh my God. Little... That was our day yesterday, but I'm still glad we did it because she got out there and we were safe because she doesn't have all her vaccines yet. So we made sure she wasn't like touching the ground, licking anything, but also maybe that's a sign to be like, you know what, let's not take her out until she's fully vaccinated. Her first appointment with our vet is on Thursday, which is tomorrow at one o'clock. But yeah, that was um, my little story time for you. <laughs> uh, the joys of puppyhood. <laughs> But also crate training right now went well. I left her in there for over an hour while I worked out. I had to end up putting the fence around it because this little booger over here kept bothering her and like she couldn't go to sleep because Aiko would be like taunting her. So yeah, hopefully we'll be able to go and enjoy dinner tomorrow while she stays in there. My only concern is like her poop schedule is so out of control right now. Like, let me look at the sign. So yesterday she went poo at 4.20 in the morning, 7.30 in the morning, 11.25 in the morning, and then 6.15 at night. Today, she went poo at midnight last night. We got her up and then 10 in the morning and that's it. So it's like 
She went poo a bunch of times yesterday and then today only twice so far. So, but yeah, I am excited to go out to dinner tonight because I definitely need a break from these girls. I need to see people. I need to have a good time, laugh, talk to people. <laughs> I feel like I've been in this big puppy playpen for so long. But last night I did go into my office and work for like a few hours and while Donnie was with her because I was like, I need a break from them. <laughs> so I might probably do that again tonight. But yeah, it's been going good. This is the reality of training a puppy and I know I might be a little bit excessive, but you have to remember she's like a pound and a half to two pounds. So her bladder small. I'm the type of person who likes to be over prepared and overdoes it to ensure we do it right. The more work you put in into the puppy in their first few weeks or months, the more reward you'll get for their whole entire life. And I was watching a lot of YouTube videos to kind of catch up on this. And one video I saw was like, what's the one thing that most people get wrong when training a puppy? And all of them, like different vets, different trainers are like, too much freedom. When you give your puppy too much freedom, they build bad habits that you might not even know about. If you're not watching them, they could be chewing up a couch in the back. They could be peeing behind furniture that you don't know about. So it's okay if you guys think I'm being super anal about this because even Don thinks I can be anal about this, but you know, this is going to be my fifth puppy I've trained on my own. These two never ever have accidents in the house, ever. They know exactly where to go. The more work you put in in the beginning, the more reward for their whole life. Okay, it's dinner time and we're doing another quick meal and we ended up getting Burger King because I wanted to try the Wednesday Whopper. It's their October or their spooky season special that they do. And it's purple because I believe there is purple yam that they use to create this. So it's not like artificial coloring, it's actually food. But look at that. And the other difference is they use Swiss cheese in this Whopper. Also got some combo onion rings and there should be some french fries in here. All right, let's give it a bite. Kind of cold though. Is your burger cold? Mm. Yeah, Donnie just got a normal Whopper. But... A little bit. It's cold. Mm -hmm. Do I warm it up? But there's like tomatoes and stuff. Yeah. It's cold. The bun's good though. All right, I microwaved it for like 40 seconds. The cheese is a little bit more melted. I don't know how I feel about warm tomatoes, but let's just give it a go. That's better. Mentioned earlier that tomorrow is my sister-in-law's surprise birthday at Anime. It's at 5.30, meaning we would have to leave here around 4.45, five-ish. The last two days, Blue did not poo with between like two to midnight, but then she just went poo right now at 5.30. But she did a good job because we have a pad over here too, and she went to it by herself without us trying to coerce her. And she went over there, took a dump, but I'm like, oh, that's exactly what time dinner is tomorrow, 5.30. So, do we risk her pooping in her crate? I don't know. Also, I just realized it's like, why do you just not go and prioritize your puppy? Any other normal circumstance, totally 100%, but this is a prefix menu, prepaid. And so my brother-in-law, he paid $150 per person who RSVP'd. So it is a big expense on his part if I don't go. That's why I would feel bad. And also it's our favorite restaurant. So yeah, I think it's gonna be one of those things where maybe I'll just feed her early and hope she goes poop <laughs> and we're in the clear. So we're just gonna take it hour by hour and see what happens because a night out sounds fun right now. I have been on puppy duty for five days and I'm going crazy, if I'm being honest with you. I'm like, yeah, I need a break. So my last vlog, I talked about getting Blue, I was saying it's for Aiko because she needs a playmate. And look at that uh, manifestation right here. This makes me so happy. Girls, Blue, Blue, you having fun? You having fun, girls? It's bedtime though. <laughs> it's bedtime. Hi. 
You guys besties? Makes me so happy for Aiko. Ow. Hey, you can bite her, but not me. Hey. What a crazy day we had yesterday. Yesterday was Blue's first vet appointment. It started off well. Everyone at our vet actually loves our dogs. They're just so kind. They take great care of them. Our vet's actually almost like 30 miles away. And the reason why it's so far is because they're a vet that I've been with for 15 years. They're the first vet I took, the very first dog I owned on my own. Um, not my family dog, but my own dog. Her name was Cargo, she was a Chihuahua, and I used to live in that area. And then when we got my Boston Terrier Monster, I took her there, and then Hero, then I go now blue. I just trust them so much. I've been with this vet for so long and it's hard to leave them because they're just so good. They're good to me, they're good to the dogs. And so a 30 minute drive is worth it. Anyways, went to the vet, her exam went well and she was due for some vaccines as most puppies are so that they're able to go out in the world and enjoy their life and not get things like parvo. And you know, they usually just wait with her for a while to make sure there's no reactions and then we go home. But as we were driving home, we were like really close to home. We we're like a block away and we noticed, or Donnie noticed that her face was swelling up. Pulled over, called the vet and I was like, hey, her face is starting to swell up, should we bring her back? The person who answered was like, you know, it does happen sometimes, but we recommend to bring them back to make sure it's not serious and we can treat it. So we're like, okay, let's go. Turned around, heading back. Again, 30 minutes away, we were so close to home. <laughs> that 30 minutes felt like an hour and a half trying to get there because her face started swelling up more. Okay, though. That was, that's my biggest fear. Oh, no. She's okay. holding her head up. Okay. She's not lethargic or anything, so that's good. And you know, Donnie's a nurse, and so he understands the seriousness of allergic reactions to medicine, to vaccines. He, and you know, I can kind of hear his worried voice. So I'm getting worried, I'm getting scared, but I'm trying not to think about that. I'm just trying to get us there as quickly and as safely as possible. There's also one stretch of a freeway that's, you know, not really used by a lot of people. And when we got there, I literally drove 100 miles per hour. Don't worry though, I was so safe. No one was around me. You know, in my head, I was like, drive safe because what's the point of getting in an accident if you're trying to save your baby girl's life, you know? And then I also was thinking, you know, like if I get stopped by a cop, then <laughs> at least maybe I'm like, look at her face. She's having an allergic reaction. Maybe Donnie could jump in and he'll, <laughs> he or she will take her to the vet. That was kind of my thought process, my logic. So we get there, we take her right away. They put in an IV, give her some fluids, and then they also give her some Benadryl and also some steroids to help with inflammation. Doc comes out and he's like, okay, good, good news is it's just a swelling in her face. Her gums look good, her breathing is fine. This looks like a, a minor reaction versus a major serious reaction. He's like, but we still wanna monitor her for two hours. So, you know, if you wanna go home, stick around, come back. And so because we live 30 minutes away, we're like, okay, let's just grab dinner. And we ended up going to Crab Boil that's close by. And, you know, we had to decompress and got beers and just like, let's just relax, let's have a good dinner. At this point, by the time we got back at the vet, it was three o'clock, so we had to pick her up at five. Mind you, our dinner was at 5.30 at Anime for Donnie's sister, and so we're like, okay, there's no way we're gonna make this, and plus, I'm not gonna leave her alone. Like, let's just tell him what happened. We felt bad because it was a prepaid dinner, you know? Our brother-in-law took care of the bill, and it was $150 per person, prefix, plus drinks, so. But at the end of the day, our number one priority was this little girl here and making sure she was okay. And so yeah, we just had dinner, calmed down, decompressed. We were both really traumatized. Don was like, I didn't want to tell you, but I was Googling how to administer CPR on a dog. I'm like, oh my God, thank God you didn't tell me that because I would have freaked the fuck out. And then I started thinking about how I lost Monster suddenly. You know, one night she was breathing really weirdly. And so I took her to the ER thinking, you know, oh, she just needs medicine. Maybe it's an infection in her lungs. And when I get there, it's like, you have to make the decision and that was replaying in my head and I was trying not to, you know, go crazy and ball and like just lose it. <laughs> so I stayed focused, got her to the vet and sure enough, everything was fine. I don't know, what a crazy first week with this puppy. <laughs> And you know, it's kind of such an odd feeling to have because everything went so well in terms of her training. You know, her crate training is going well. Her potty training is going so, so good. So in one sense of this like weekly puppy training, I'm like, it couldn't have gone better. The other sense is like, this is like the worst thing that could happen during your first week of puppyhood, you know, like shitting in a stroller in the pet store with two other dogs in the stroller and then an allergic reaction to vaccines. So it's almost like a weird feeling to have. More so it's the the vaccine that really took a toll on us. Like we were traumatized guys. We were obviously thinking the worst. Like we just, it was, 
It was bad. <laughs> like when we brought her to the vet, me and Don were like shaking, but thankfully she's okay. But with that said, I am going to end the vlog here and spend the next few days just taking this all in. I will probably start a new vlog on Monday. So if you guys are new here, please consider liking, subscribing, stick around. I have a bunch of other vlogs you can check out. And you know, I hope you guys enjoyed this realistic week in the life of a new puppy because it has been a whirlwind for me. <laughs> Woo, Lord child. And I just want to reiterate that I am a no puppy training professional. This is just what I've done with our last dogs and it's worked for us. And so why fix it if it ain't broken, as they say, and she is adjusting so well. Oh, I forgot to also say that um, how everything is going good with her potty training, but also with the girls, even more importantly, they're like getting along so well, especially Aiko. But Aiko has been loving this little one. They're like besties. They want, they play all the time. Aiko always follows her everywhere. Look how cute she is. Look how cute she is. Blue. Hi, baby. She's so adorable. She's such a good girl, too. That's what's the hardest thing about seeing her. <laughs> I'm like, oh my god, she doesn't deserve this. And she was only 2.2 pounds. Two pounds. I'm like, what the heck? All right, anyways, guys, that's gonna be it for this vlog. As always, thank you so much for watching. And if you can, try to choose Happy or Sad today. And we will catch you on the next one. Bye, everyone. Say bye, Blue. Bye, bye. Bye-bye. Right, bye.